Pope Benedict is preparing to make his first trip to the Middle East as pontiff. He faces a daunting array of religious and political challenges on the eight-day trip. And as the region readies for the Pope's arrival, a direct descendant of the Prophet Muhammad has arrived here in Australia from Yemen, calling for unity among the Muslim community. Hundreds of the faithful gathered in silence to listen to one of the last great scholars of Islam. Sheikh Habib Omar is on a mission to change the negative perception that the Western world has of his religion. As I waited to begin my interview with Sheikh Omar, I was told I had to ask my questions through an intermediary, as he felt uncomfortable answering questions directly from a woman. The Sheikh says there is perhaps distrust of Islam because of a lack of understanding of the faith. Sheikh Omar condemned those who use religion, especially Islam, for political purposes, accusing radicals of being as ignorant as those who link the religion to violence. He called for unity among the Muslims in Australia and asked them to work towards building positive relations with the wider community. Sheikh Habib Omar, who is a direct descendant of the Prophet Muhammad, says there is no room in Islam for violence and radicalism and has devoted his life to what he says is the true meaning of Islam, peace and harmony. Members of Sydney's Muslim community say visits by prominent Muslim leaders are necessary, especially at a time when Islamic leadership is under criticism. Dr. Ahmed Alarif has followed Sheikh Omar's teachings for many years and says he too is concerned about the misrepresentation of Islam throughout the world. I don't think any religion or any uh, organisation can be found on you know, radical or terrorist-like qualities um, and be able to claim that they're part of an organisation or you know, a faith like Islam. As preparations continue for the Pope's arrival in the Middle East, a number of Islamic groups have called on the pontiff to apologise for controversial comments he made about the religion two years ago. But Habib Omar is satisfied with the dialogue that has been created with the Vatican since the incident. He says greater emphasis should be placed on interfaith relations. Yalda Hakim, World News Australia.